In this video, I'm going to be telling you how to set up your towering clown animatronic from Seasonal Visions. I recommend that you take all the parts out of the box and lay them on the floor before you begin your setup. Your parts list should include the two plastic clown shoes, the one piece outfit, the sensor wire, the clown's head, two larger bent support poles, two medium sized bent support poles, two straight support poles, a spine piece, a base, a module, two large foam pieces and two medium sized foam pieces, both arms with attached hands, the chest piece, and of course, not forget the hip loop, shoulder piece and the adapter, which is included. So to begin your setup, you're going to want to take your base and place it on the floor. Then you want to take two support poles, the straight ones labelled B, and, atta and attach them via the pin connections on the base. You're going to want to repeat this step for both sides. Then once you've done that, you're going to want to take your two plastic clown shoes and put them over top of the two poles, slide them down to the bottom. Your setup should look something like this. Now you're going to take your two larger bent support poles and attach them to the top of the two poles via the snap lock pins. Once you've done that, you're going to take your two um, pieces labelled F and attach them to the poles. They have slits already in them, so all you have to do is really uh, push them on and they will just snap right into place. This gives the clown's legs a bit more uh, stability and character. Your setup should look something like this. Now you're going to, want to take your two smaller bent support poles and attach them to the top of your frame via the snap lock pin mechanism. Then take your two other smaller foam pieces and attach them to the two poles. Like I said, they have slits in them so it should be pretty easy. All you've got to really do is make sure you squeeze it on there uh, until it fits. Just want to point out that I did on the left side on the screen here, I did put the smaller one on rather than top one on there. So make sure you just swap those two around while you're doing yours. Then you want to take your outfit piece and thread it over top of your structure. Uh, so both leg pieces should be on both sides. Feel free to adjust this if you need. Next up, you're going to want to take your module piece and attach it to the top of the two poles, as shown on screen. This, in my opinion, is the trickiest part of the setup, but you just got to really play around with it a bit. You will get it with time. Next up, you're going to take your hip loop and you're going to want to thread it over top of the structure and squeeze it into the two little pins you see here in the video. This is fairly simple. Then you want to take your shoulder frame and thread it over top of the structure and attach it via the two little pins, just like with a hip loop. Push it down until you hear it click. Then you want to take your clear plastic ch chest piece and attach it via the pin connection as you see on screen. This gives the clown's ribcage a lot more shape. Here's how it should look. You're going to want to pull the outfit up to the shoulders. Now you're going to want to go turn the clown around and unzip the back of him via the velcro connection. And you're going to want to take your sensor wire labelled K. So this is the hole where your sensor will go. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the black wire located at the end of your sensor and attach it to the one shown on screen. This is located just above the connection where the rib cage connects, as I'm doing here. Then once you've done that, you're going to want to just simply velcro that to the inside of where the sensor will go in its designated hole. It should look something like this.
Next up, you're going to want to take your spine piece and attach it to the fork connection at the back of the shoulder frame, as shown in this video. It will take much, it will be much easier to do with two hands, but I'm currently holding the camera with one hand and doing it with one hand, so it took me a little bit longer, but that's okay. Then you're going to want to scrunch up your sleeves and, to reveal the fork connection and attach the arms, as shown in the video. I did not have a video for the right arm, but I did for the left, as you can see here. Feel free to adjust it around the sleeves if you need to. Then you're going to go uh, plug in your adapter to the control box via opening up the back of the clown's uh, back and thread the adapter either through the legs or just dangling out, it really does not matter. Then you're going to take your head and with the two attached red and black wires and attach it via the fork pin that rests just on top of the shoulder frame. This is where the head connects. And then when you've done that, you're going to probably want, probably going to, want to use a ladder or something, but you're going to connect the two wires, red and black, coming from the head to the two wires coming from the module as shown in this video. This is what connects the moving mouth and light up eyes to the towering clown's head. Your setup is now complete as soon as you uh, put a put the adapter into an outlet and then your setup is pretty much complete. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe for more uh, Halloween setup videos. I do Halloween videos uh, all in this channel, so if you like what you see, make sure to hit subscribe and like the videos, help me out a lot. I'm looking for someone to play on.